If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Question Which access control settings can you apply to a contract workspace? Note There are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Human Resources Information. Option 2 Public to Procurement Users. Option 3 Legal Information. Option 4 Private to Team Members. Question How can a customer confirm the number of user licenses they have consumed? Note There are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Contact their Customer Engagement Executive, C to verify the count. Option 2 Run the usernames and permissions and all contract workspaces prepackaged reports. Option 3 Check the license count from administration site manager audit log. Option 4 Export the list of users from administration user manager users. Question For which of the following purposes can you use the contract legacy load feature? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Mass editing existing contracts. Option 2 Importing historical spent data for analysis. Option 3 Receiving automated reminders. Option 4 Loading contracts for searching and reporting. Question, which types of contract requests are provided in SAP Ariba? Note there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Contract Request, Procurement. Option 2 Contract Request, External. Option 3 Contract Request, Sales. Option 4 Contract Request, Internal. Question, to implement single sign-on, SSO, what would SAP Ariba recommend? Option 1 Match Enterprise User is Password with Corporate SSO User is Password. Option 2 Match Enterprise User is ID with Corporate SSO User is ID. Option 3 Match Enterprise User is Email Address with Corporate SSO User is Email Address. Option 4 Match Enterprise User is Permissions with Corporate SSO User is Permissions. Question. What are the different views that you can pin on a dashboard with a prepackaged report? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Spreadsheet. Option 2 Pivot Table. Option 3 Charts. Option 4 Spend Cube. Question, a clause in the clause library is updated and published. When will templates and contract workspaces that use the clause be updated with the new language? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Newly created contract workspaces will have the updated language once you publish a new version of the template. Option 2 Newly created contract workspaces will have the updated language immediately. Option 3 Contract workspaces in draft status will have the updated language immediately. Option 4 Contract Workspaces in Draft will have the updated language only if you substitute or add the updated clause. Question, which of the following sources can provide line items to use in a contract line items document? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Sourcing Library. Option 2 Material Master. Option 3 CIF Catalog. Option 4 Clause Library. Question, which options are available when using a signature task with DocuSign? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Adding additional signers. Option 2 Signers can decline the documents. Option 3 View and accept red lines. Option 4 Adding a new clause in DocuSign. Question, what steps should you take to allow a supplier to log into your SAP Ariba Contracts solution to review and edit a contract document? 
Option 1 Create an internal user account for the supplier and perform a password reset. Option 2 Create a signature task and include a note to the supplier instructing them to redline the document. Option 3 Add the external user for a registered supplier account to a negotiation task. Option 4 Create a contract workspace, internal, sub-project and set the supplier as project owner. Question, when reviewing a template in SAP Ariba contracts, you notice that you are unable to edit. What conditions must be met before you can edit? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Your administrator must update the access control field to include your user account. Option 2 You must put the template in a draft state by creating a new version. Option 3 You must manage changes by importing a new version of the template. Option 4 You must be a member of the project owner group on the team tab of the template. Question, which attributes are required when you set up an auto-renewing contract? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Agreement Date Option 2 Expiration Date Option 3 Term Type Option 4 Number of Renewals Question, which of the following activities can you perform in a contract workspace as a task owner? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Remove approvers inherited from the template. Option 2 Set a task as a milestone. Option 3 Modify a notification profile. Option 4 Assign observers to a task. Question. What are the recommended design decisions for a contract amendment task process? Note, there are two correct answers to this. Option 1 Enable the repeat for each document draft option to reuse Thetisk. Option 2 Use a predecessor task to start the task in the amendment process automatically. Option 3 Show the tasks only during the amendment process by applying conditions. Option 4 Use a notification task to notify the team members that the contract workspace is in the amendment process. Question, which method is recommended when creating an approval task with approval rules? Option 1 Add approvers before creating approval rules. Option 2 Create an approver lookup table before creating approval rules. Option 3 Create conditions before creating approval rules. Option 4 Add a chain rule before creating approval rules. Question, which tabs are available in a team member rules file? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Users. Option 2 Team member rules. Option 3 Team. Option 4 Field names. Question, before a contract workspace can be published, what must be done? Option 1 A completion message must be sent to the team. Option 2 All required tasks must be completed. Option 3 All contract documents must be published. Option 4 The main agreement must be finalized. Question, your customer wants to control which clauses appear in their main agreement, based on values in contract workspace header fields. After creating the relevant conditions, how do you apply them to clauses in the main agreement? Option 1 on the conditions tab, select the clauses that are visible when each condition is true. Option 2, from the outline view of the main agreement in the template, select the condition to apply to each clause. Option 3 Specify conditions in the clause library so that they are applied to all contract workspaces. Option 4, from the outline view of the main agreement in the contract workspace, select the condition to apply to each clause. Question, which of the following key features are enabled when using enhanced contract authoring? Note, there are three correct answers to these question. Option 1 email.pdf contract for conversion to sections and clauses. 
Option 2 Clause Suggestions Based on Companies with Similar Contracts Option 3 Use Word Styles to Dictate Outline Level Option 4 Review and Accept Changes Directly in Outline View Option 5 Drag and Drop to Replace and Upload Question, a contract author is unavailable for a period of two weeks. How should they temporarily assign another user to attend to their projects? Option 1 Notify an administrator who can use the replace user in all projects function. Option 2 Add the backup user to the team tab of all open contract workspaces. Option 3 Assign the backup user to the customer user manager group to act as the author. Option 4 Create a delegation of authority for the period during which the author is unavailable. Question, what is the correct procedure for replacing a contract owner in a contract workspace? Option 1 Leave the original contract owner and just assign someone else to the project owner group. Option 2 Replace the user in both the contract owner field and the project owner group. Option 3 Deactivate the original contract owner, so the user as supervisor will be automatically assigned. Option 4 Replace the user in the contract owner field. Question, which actions apply to contract negotiations in SAP Ariba? Note there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 The project owner cannot add observers to a negotiation task. Option 2 The project owner can launch only one round of a negotiation task. Option 3 The initial message must be entered before sending the task. Option 4 The supplier can modify a received contract document. Question, your customer wants a contract approval process that adds additional approvers as the contract amount hits a threshold. How can this be configured in the system? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Use the team member rules file to add additional users to a group that the project owner cannot edit. Option 2 Create a custom approval task flow with conditional approvers based on the contract amount. Option 3 Use the APIs to design a custom approval application. Option 4 Create a purchase order on the documents tab and set it as the linked document on the approval task. Question, for the system to display sections and clauses in outline view using enhanced contract authoring, ECA, styles must be applied in Microsoft Word document. Which outline level of this style is used for clauses? Option 1 Comment text. Option 2 Body text. Option 3 List. Option 4 Heading. Question. What is SAP Ariba's recommendation for choosing a username when creating an account for an internal user? Option 1 Choose a username that matches the corporate network ID. Option 2 Choose a username that matches the user's email address. Option 3 Use first name dot, dot, last name. Option 4 Use first initial and full last name. Question, how do you remove all values in enumerations except values you would like to keep? Option 1 List the values you would like to remove in the XML file and import the file in enumerations. Option 2 List the values you would like to remove in the Excel file and import the file in enumerations. Option 3 List the values you would like to keep in the Flex Master Data file and import the file in Data Import slash Export. Option 4 List the values you would like to keep in the CSV file and import the file in enumerations. Question, you are creating a standard clause in the clause library which will be used in multiple assembled documents. What clause type should you select? Option 1 Fallback clause. Option 2 Empty clause. Option 3 Alternate clause. Option 4 Preferred clause. Question, how can a project owner delegate tasks to other users? Option 1 on the Tasks tab, click Actions and select Delegate Tasks. Option 2 Edit the task and change the owner field. 
Option 3 Add the users to a group with the active team member role. Option 4 Click on the task and select assign. Question, when using enhanced contract authoring, the contract author can review the changes made to the document when it gets re-uploaded into the contract workspace. What do the color highlights indicate? Option 1 Red equals deletions, green equals additions or modifications. Option 2 Green equals deletions, orange equals additions or modifications. Option 3 Red equals deletions, gray equals additions or modifications. Option 4 Gray equals deletions, orange equals additions or modifications. Question, which amendment type is used to update only prices in the contract line items document? Option 1 Amendment. Option 2 Administrative. Option 3 Price Update. Option 4 Line Item Update. Question, which item must a project owner create first to generate a contract compliance document in an SAP Ariba system with SAP Ariba contracts and SAP Ariba buying and invoicing? Option 1 Contract Terms Option 2 Main Agreement Option 3 Contract Request Option 4 Contract Workspace Question, how can you create a pick list for a field that has conditional values based on the entry of another field? Option 1 Use visibility conditions. Option 2 Use expressions. Option 3 Use relational entries. Option 4 Use validation conditions. Question, when a contract workspace is created, the user cannot add additional users to a specific project group. Why is the user not allowed to add additional team members? Option 1 The user does not have sufficient permissions. Option 2 The template is deactivated. Option 3 The project group was uploaded through the data import slash export tool. Option 4 The can owner edit this project group option in template is set or no. Question, where can reports be saved to share with other users? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Knowledge Projects. Option 2 Prepackaged Reports. Option 3 Public Reports. Option 4 Personal Workspace. Question What are the benefits of using the clause library? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Clauses can be reused in different contracts. Option 2 Clause management can be streamlined. Option 3 Clauses can be marked read only in the contract document. Option 4 Clauses can be controlled by visibility conditions. Question, you have created a contract workspace but are not seeing a document you expect to see. Why might this document not be visible? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 You entered incorrect header information when creating the contract workspace. Option 2 The document validity period has expired and needs to be renewed. Option 3 You answered a template question differently than for previous workspaces. Option 4 You have set the documents view option to quick links instead of full view. Question who has the ability to edit the overview information in a contract workspace? Option 1 Contract Owner and Team Members with the Project Owner Role Option 2 Contract Owner and Team Members with the Active Team Member Role Option 3 Contract Owner and Team Members with the Observer Team Member Role Option 4 Contract Owner Only Question what does SAP Ariba recommend for importing legacy contracts? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Load all legacy contract workspaces prior to loading Realm Master Data. Option 2 Load all legacy contract workspaces in small batches to ensure proper format and load process. Option 3 Load documents along with the legacy contract workspaces. 
Option for load all legacy contract workspaces in draft status to allow for post load review. Question, how do you use the process status field in a contract workspace or contract request? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 as a milestone in tasks tab. Option 2 to show users a contract workspace placeholder after contract request approval. Option 3 to generate a follow-on task. Option 4 to indicate task progress. Question, what types of tasks are available in SAP Ariba contracts? Note there are three correct answers to this question. Option 1 Supplier Tasks. Option 2 Notification Tasks. Option 3 Approval Tasks. Option 4 Review Tasks. Option 5 Administrative Tasks. Question, which amendment type do you use to change the main agreement? Option 1 Administrative Amendment. Option 2 Termination Amendment. Option 3 Renewal Amendment. Option 4 Amendment Amendment. Question, who can edit the clause library? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Users who belong to the Contract Approver System Group. Option 2 Users who belong to the Clause Library Team Project Group of the Clause Library. Option 3 Users who have access to the Clause Library. Option 4 Users who belong to the Project Owner Project Group of the Clause Library. Question, you have created a new account for a supplier. The supplier informs you that they already have an Ariba Network account. How should you address this situation? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Tell the supplier to click the link in the registration email and follow the prompts for existing suppliers. Option 2 Tell the supplier they should not click the registration link in the email. Option 3 Manually delete the account you created for the supplier. Option 4 Do not make changes to the account you created for the supplier. Question, which activities can lead to the consumption of a user license? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 A user is assigned to a project group with the project owner role. Option 2 A user is deactivated. Option 3 A user is supervisor consumes a user license. Option 4 System groups are assigned to a user ID. Question, you are working with an assembled document which shows the following details, what is the term for SAP Ariba contracts use it for confidential information related to this image? Option 1 Title Option 2 Section Option 3 Document Option 4 Clause Question, you are trying to view a supplier is risk exposure on the supplier profile, but the risk page is not visible. What could be causing this problem? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 The parameter application.sm.show risk exposure on supplier profile is set to false. Option 2 The feature enhance supplier profile with risk information is disabled. Option 3 Supplier risk has not been implemented for this realm. Option 4 You do not have the necessary user permissions to view risk information. Question, which clause type indicates that a change was made in a clause in a Microsoft Word document and uploaded back into the system? Option 1 Ad hoc library. Option 2 Non-standard. Option 3 Library. Option 4 Ad hoc. Question. Why would your customer use a contract request in SAP Ariba contracts? Option 1 to link the pricing from a sourcing event to the contract workspace. Option 2 to generate a contract approval flow. Option 3 to allow external users to work on the contract. Option 4 to allow users, who do not have the permission to create contract workspaces, to create contract requests instead. 
Question, what is the purpose of having project groups in contract workspaces? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Project groups can have roles assigned that will allow members to perform certain actions. Option 2 Project groups allow assigned users to access workspaces when access control is applied. Option 3 Project groups control which tabs of contract workspaces can be accessed. Option 4 Project groups can grant increased system level permissions to users. Question. When is the notice period visible? Option 1 when there is an effective date. Option 2 when there is an agreement date. Option 3 when there is an expiration date. Option 4 when the contract is published. Question, when you are designing a section and clauses, and want to use a numbering, how would you accomplish this in assembled documents? Option 1 Check the Enable Numbering option in the Contract Workspace template. Option 2 Set up numbering in the Clause Library. Option 3 Set up numbering using Microsoft Word styles. Option 4 Set up numbering in Document Properties. Question, what are the benefits of having phases? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 ensures that only the project owner starts any of the tasks. Option 2 enforces workflow order. Option 3 allows you to organize tasks into phases to match your business model. Option 4 allows you to group same type of tasks. Question, which of the following documents is created in SAP ERP when exporting line item details from a contract workspace in SAP Ariba contracts through the cloud integration gateway? Option 1 Purchase Requisition Option 2 Purchase Order Option 3 Shopping Cart Option 4 Outline Agreement Question when a Microsoft Word document is uploaded as a main agreement or contract addendum using Enhanced Contract Authoring ECA, which special functionalities will be enabled? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1, Outline View. Option 2, Signature Task Type. Option 3, Merge Document. Option 4, Clause Library Access. Question, which types of document properties can be added to a main agreement? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Editable Properties Option 2 Lookup Table Properties Option 3 Intrinsic Properties Option 4 Read Only Properties Question, your organization is moving from the legacy vendor model to the unified vendor model of SAP Ariba supplier lifecycle and performance. Which action must be taken before you can use legacy vendors? Option 1 Legacy vendors can continue to be used in contracts but must be migrated for purchasing. Option 2 Legacy vendor C data is lost and must be recreated through ERP integration. Option 3 Legacy vendors must be migrated for use in all modules. Option 4 Legacy Vendors can continue to be used without further action. Question, when does a published contract have a pending contract status? Option 1 The contract documents need approval. Option 2 The required tasks have not been completed. Option 3 The agreement date is in the future. Option 4 The effective date is in the future. Question, to which objects can visibility conditions be applied in contract workspace templates? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Personally identifiable information. Option 2 Team member role. Option 3 Document folder. Option 4 Template. Question, how can a report become visible on the dashboard? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 from a report, click save and add to content. 
Option 2 from a report, click the dashboard tab and add to dashboard. Option 3 from a report, click export and add to dashboard. Option 4 from the dashboard, click the configure tabs, the wrench icon, and add content. Question, you have created a custom group named indirect contract manager and you want to link this group to a contract manager group. How do you establish the parent slash child relationship within groups? Option 1 Add the indirect contract manager group as a child group to the contract manager group. Option 2 Add the indirect contract manager group as an additional user under the users tab in the contract manager group. Option 3 Create the contract manager group at the template level and add the indirect contract manager group as a team member. Option 4 Add the contract manager group as a child group to the indirect contract manager group. Question, what changes occur when SAP Ariba contracts is suite integrated with SAP Ariba buying? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 Compliance contracts are created within contract workspaces. Option 2 Suppliers must register on the Ariba network before you can assign them to a contract workspace. Option 3 Contract workspaces are required to be approved in SAP Ariba buying. Option 4 Supplier master data is shared between SAP Ariba buying and SAP Ariba contracts. Question, how are multiple clauses added to the clause library? Option 1 Upload the Microsoft Word document containing multiple clauses in a template and use the Publish to Clause Library option. Option 2 Use the Upload feature in the Clause Library to upload a Microsoft Word document containing multiple clauses. Option 3 Use the Document Upload feature in a Contract Workspace to upload a Microsoft Word document containing multiple clauses. Option 4 Upload the Microsoft Word document containing multiple clauses in a Contract Workspace and use the Publish to Clause Library option. Question. What is the unique characteristic of the SAP Ariba provided contract request template? Option 1 It has a built-in configuration to capture the contract ID of the contract workspace in the related ID field. Option 2 It has built-in team members for the contract workspace. Option 3 It has a link to the contract workspace as a follow-on project. Option 4 It has a built-in approval task to trigger the contract workspace. Question, which of the following documents are designed to capture contract line item pricing within the SAP Ariba suite of solutions? Note, there are three correct answers to this question. Option 1 Contract Compliance Request Option 2 Main Agreement Option 3 Contract Line Items Option 4 Contract Terms Option 5 Contract Attributes Question, what is the maximum file size for the legacy contract load.zip file? Option 1 1 GB Option 2 10 MB Option 3 250 MB Option 4 100 MB Question, when you are updating data in data import slash export, what does SAP Ariba recommend? Option 1 Delete existing data first before importing modified data. Option 2 Only use an XML file to import the data. Option 3 Use the update only option only when you import the modified file. Option 4 Save an exported file for backup. Question, which of the following are guidelines for the hierarchical type header field and the legacy contract upload? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 You can load a subagreement in a different batch of contracts than its parent. Option 2 Any subagreement cannot appear in A.CSV before the contract listed as its parent. Option 3 Only one level of hierarchy is supported, a subagreement cannot be the parent to another subagreement. Option 4 Hierarchical type field does not have to be specified for loading subagreement. Question, 
How do you use the reference to condition expression type? Note there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 to group newly created conditions. Option 2 to create multiple conditions in one expression. Option 3 to use values of an existing condition to define additional conditions. Option 4 to combine an existing condition. Question, your customer requires a custom field where users will choose one or more items from a list of around 100 possibilities, each represented by a short name. Which field type should you use to represent this data? Option 1 Flex Master Data Option 2 Text Multiple Select Option 3 Multiline Text Option 4 Text Single Choice Question, when creating Microsoft Word styles, what prefix should you use if you do not want a particular section shown in the outline view in SAP Ariba? Option 1 Hide Option 2 Delete Option 3 Exclude Option 4 Ignore Question, why do you use the team member rules file? Option 1 to add external users to the team. Option 2 to allow users to edit the template. Option 3 to generate team members based on header field values. Option 4 to assign approvers to the approval tasks. Question, new releases of SAP Ariba contracts may change the fields and format of data import slash export tasks. Which of the following tools allows administrators to review and accept those changes? Option 1 Data Dictionary Option 2 Data Definition Option 3 Endpoint Configuration Option 4 Integration Configuration Question you must update a template that is currently active and being used. What is the recommended procedure to ensure users can continue to create projects using the template while it is being updated? Option 1 In the existing template, select the option to create a new version. When the template is ready to be published, publish the new version. Option 2 In the existing template, create a new version and set an expiration date in the future. Create the new template and publish with an effective date on the same day. Option 3 Export the existing template. Make changes to the XML files within the exported archive. When you reimport the archive, the existing template will automatically be updated. Option 4 Export the template and load it into the test site. Make changes in the test site template. When the template is ready to be published choose Publish to Production. Question, how can an administrator review and manage the list of reports that have been set to run on a regular basis? Option 1 by exporting the list using the export scheduled reports task. Option 2 by viewing the scheduled reports panel on the reporting dashboard. Option 3 by using the scheduled reports page of the reporting manager in the administration portal. Option 4 by viewing prepackaged reports, clicking search, and filtering for scheduled equals yes. Question, what are the contract workspace types? Note, there are three correct answers to this question. Option 1 Contract Workspace, Procurement. Option 2 Contract Workspace, Customer. Option 3 Contract Workspace, Sales. Option 4 Contract Workspace, Internal. Option 5 Contract Workspace, Buying. Question, which of the following contract name formats would be acceptable within the zip file that is used to import legacy contracts? Option 1 Waste Management Services DD slash MM slash YYYY DD slash MM slash YYYY Option 2 Waste underscore Management underscore Services underscore DD MM YYYY DD MM YYYY Option 3 Waste Management Services DDMMYYYY DDMMYYYY Option 4 Waste Management Services Jerry's Cleaners Question 
How can an administrator modify the content of email notifications sent by contract workspaces? Option 1 in the contract workspace, edit the notification profile. Option 2 in the template, create a custom notification profile. Option 3 in the administration area, edit the default notification preferences. Option 4 in the administration area, edit the project email templates. Question, which of the following custom field types are supported? Note there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 text multiple select with hierarchical data. Option 2 flex master data single select. Option 3 multiline text. Option 4 filtered data list. Question, which approval task fields are only available within the template and not in a contract workspace? Note, there are two correct answers to this question. Option 1 predecessors. Option 2 allow auto approval. Option 3 external task response. Option 4 field setting. Question, which field types are represented in editable properties within document properties? Option 1 numeric. Option 2 text. Option 3 dates. Option 4 boolean. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.